Hey folks, welcome to the Market Internal Review for June 7th, 2023. So yesterday I mentioned with Vold at its highs, extreme bullish area, and SPY price largely not in agreement. That I was expecting some downside today, potentially, but I always look at the internals at the open to see exactly what kind of sentiment is being built into uh, the morning session. So for the morning session, what we saw was a bullish ad in Vold. They did start out, I believe, around the low end, and the 20 SMA trends on both of them were somewhat in a divergence. And we can also see that with the trend dots showing yellow for a balance. We did have a rise in price over yesterday's high. I'll go ahead and chart that here. We pumped up to Monday's high price before we rejected losing the session TWAP. Then we had a couple of extreme closures and they made uh, one made a higher high and the other one closed roughly about the same price. When we lost the session TWAP, I noticed that the trend dots started to show a potential for imbalance. Still a ton of divergence between the ad and vold bands, tick, everything just really mixed up. And if you notice the price delivery, these candles are just all over the place. It's not very clean action, much like we saw during yesterday's midday range. Just not something that I think if you're looking for quick scalps, just not something that's going to provide the kind of trade setups that I personally like to take and I know a handful of other folks also don't like to take. Turn on the tick levels here. So we have a wide band up at the top which makes sense. We pushed hard to get up there and test the weak opening highs. Once we fell back below the session TWAP we don't really see a lot of tick action. I think that's indicative of trend showing a balance off and on throughout the day. So while we see some extreme highs, we don't really see a whole lot of consistency. So very little downside until we get this drop off down here on tick, which does agree with SPY's price, but then we just oscillate back and forth throughout the rest of the day. If we turn on the weekly TWAP here, we can see that we rejected the first standard deviation on the weekly TWAP, and then once we lost it, we did retest here and fizzled out and even lost the standard deviation low. I think more interesting is the fact that we are now down at the monthly TWAP. So I pointed this out yesterday. We weren't close. We spent some time at the high, high end of the week opening price range. Did drag that monthly TWAP up, but you can see we bounced perfectly on it here a couple times throughout the end session. And the monthly TWAP price is now 426. So that's going to open us up to, I think, some more selling potentially, assuming this fails and assuming futures don't do anything extremely bullish on the evening session. Taking a look at the queues, one thing I noted this morning was that their pump was not nearly as, as high as the SPY. I'm not sure that they tested Monday's highs. Okay, they came pretty close. So Monday's highs was about a 357. We didn't quite make it up there. But once we lost session TWAP, we actually had a much smoother downside action than SPY did. Still not in agreement with the internals. Personally, when the ETFs, the indexes, are not in agreement with the internals, I don't like to trade them. I like to see the internals giving me those snap judgment-based decisions. I like to see the data align. There was a couple of trades here potentially, but I mean, you're just, you're really just going back to using tick and seeing that we're not in a balance per trend and just going solely off of that, maybe using the session TWAP for some dynamic support and resistance lines. That's about it. But Ad and Vold were doing their own thing today. We'll look at that here in a moment. We'll look at Dow. So Dow, tight range, really nasty. No thanks. I don't have much to say about this. <laughs> it just looks awful. The rust was stronger again today, but not as much. The action was quite choppy, and you can see on the tick levels. I mean, it's just a, just a mess. And its price didn't have near the effect of yesterday, if I recall correctly. So about a two, not quite a two and a half dollar rise in price. So not as impressive as yesterday. And certainly not as smooth. So if we go back and review yesterday, this is the difference between 
trend showing an imbalance and everything in alignment. That's what we had yesterday. And here's what we have today. We have trend showing a balance. We have a, a large amount of imbalance between the trends on the ad and the VOLD. The tick is oscillating. This is definitely indicative of more of a balance, right? Neither the buyers or the sellers are really feeling as if there's anything to be done about the, pr the current price of the Russell. Take a look here at Apple quickly. So much similar day to SPY and Q motion. We have a pump in the morning, lose the session TWAP, and mainly sell off for the rest of the day. Chips were somewhat weak today. NVIDIA still losing its price from the uh, earnings high of about 400. We're back at 374. Lost to the weekly TWAP well below second deviation on the monthly TWAP, which is about 380 right now. Very interesting. So let's go and look at tick. So tick, we started at the bullish highs and rejected immediately. That kind of gives me a signal to just chill, wait, see what happens. And average closures were over zero, but when you see the 500 breaks equally on either end, we get this oscillation pattern, right? So we see when we see some closures here, or some we see some highs here, we see some lows here. It becomes pretty easy to see this after a while. And then we pretty much stay boxed in right here. So this kind of traffic here on the tick, that's a balance. Looking at trend, we can see it's largely giving us an easier picture of where the market might be from a balance standpoint. We stay largely in the balance zone the whole day. Didn't even really break into extreme bullish area. So while we were in a bullish area on ad, you can see with the 20 SMA, the uh, orange line here, that we fell below and pretty much stayed below that for most of the session today. We spent most of our time under 20 SMA, and it's pretty easy to see that the indication, the value of ad is in decline. Let's go to VOLD. Here again, we're seeing volume mostly in advancing stocks. You can see it's clearly on the rise and we close over the bullish level again i'm going to have the same outlook that i had uh, the past couple days where if vold is rising the volume is pouring into advancing stocks but the spy is not in agreement with that i'm going to come in with largely a, a bearish sentiment of course, I will look to see what the internals provide as a picture for that opening session. But uh, yeah, I mean, this kind of chop here is just not really what provides good opportunities. Look at VIX. VIX is below 14. If we look at this on a daily time frame, we can see the last times that we were down this low. And we have been even lower than that back in 2017, 2018, 2019. So a handful of times we spent we spent some time down here on the VIX. So VIX, if you don't know, it's it's the measurement of volatility in the options market on SPY. I think it's about a 30-day range, and it's a mixture of at the money and slightly out of the money calls and puts. As far as I recall, they do change the formula from time to time. So when you see a low VIX, it really means that the S&P market, the derivatives market, the options market, is not really pricing in a whole lot of fear. So quite interesting stuff here. Not a whole lot else to say other than when you see trend in a balance, it's definitely more of a hands-off kind of day. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, we've had that for the past couple of days, a lot of balance creeping in. While we are coming down in price, it's certainly a more resistive downwards move. But I think that's because, you know, the, the options market's not pricing in any kind of fear. I know we've got some economic uh, data release. I think we have FOMC next week. The WWDC hype is somewhat over from the looks of it. So I guess stay tuned. 
we'll see what tomorrow brings. We've got two more days left in this uh, in this week. If we're going to see some downside, hopefully we will be able to capitalize on that. As always, thanks for watching and happy trading.